So whether you're skeptical or uninterested in cryptocurrencies, I'm sure you'd have heard about it recently. We may be moving towards a point where those who refuse to acknowledge Bitcoin may be forced to take notice, as there have been monumental leaps forward this week. Tesla placed $1.5 billion of its cash into Bitcoin. This came to light recently. It's being reported that Tesla is expecting to accept Bitcoin as a payment in the future. Elon Musk should be careful as he's been warned by lawyers that he may face scrutiny for his lax use of Twitter through inquiries from the SEC. However, Elon Musk has made it abundantly clear that he does not have respect for the SEC and probably has limited care for this issue. <laughs> Look at you. No, I, 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 want, I want to be clear. I do not respect the SEC. I do not respect them. But, but you're abiding by the settlement, aren't you? Because I respect the justice system. More recently, Bitcoin rallied further as Mastercard and BNY Mellon, an investment banking company, showed support for cryptocurrency. BNY Mellon described cryptocurrency as a tremendous opportunity for us to extend our current service offerings to this emerging field. Neil Wilson, Chief Market Analyst at CMC Markets UK, said, It's a big deal since BNY is the first big national custodial bank to offer custody services for crypto assets. The head of blockchain digital assets and partnerships at Mastercard announced it would begin to directly support some cryptocurrencies on its network. Raj does not declare the cryptocurrencies which will be supported. He says, quote, select cryptocurrencies. However, Bitcoin is mentioned in his post, although only with regard to its increasing interest. It said they will favor reliable and secure crypto assets. With this in mind, I can say Bitcoin is an obvious choice, although this isn't definite. Perhaps Ethereum and Litecoin, among others. Of course, again, this is not definite, it's not confirmed. He goes on to state, whatever your opinions are on cryptocurrencies, from a dyed-in wool fanatic to an utter skeptic, the fact remains that these digital assets are becoming a more important part of the payments world. So, perhaps cryptocurrency is here to stay and still has a very uh, long way to go. He goes on to explain that people were using cards to buy crypto assets a lot during the recent Bitcoin surge in value. I know my channel is primarily about the stock market, however I could not help but notice the increasing prominence of crypto and particularly Bitcoin. Therefore, as it was becoming increasingly hard to ignore, I felt it was a good idea to keep up to date with its news. If you guys are interested in more videos like this, then please leave a comment. Also, on the other hand, if you'd rather I keep these videos to a minimum and rather I make stock market videos, please let me know. Regardless, let me know your thoughts on the wider cryptocurrency adoption, which seems to be having uh, an increasing impact on the corporate world. Leave a like and subscribe if you found this video informative. Thanks for watching.